Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Destiny, to Women Mentoring Women. Uh, we're here, as I've said before, every other Thursday at 6.30. And you know what? Um, i just like to welcome all of you. There's not a lot, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Whoever's here is here to listen and is here to receive from God. And those of you that are home and listening, I pray that you're touched this night. And you know what? Tonight, we'll go ahead and start. We can just, you know what? Let's, let's all step. Vamos a ponernos de pie. Sorry, sister. Bienvenidas a todas las mujeres. I forget. Uh, we're going to pray and we're going to ask God to bless um, his work tonight. I pray that, you know, um, that it really does. Because we need God. More than anything, we need God. Vamos a orar porque sobre todo necesitamos a Dios. Amen. So we're going to go ahead and pray and then I'm going to ask if uh, Sister Mona, you can open us in prayer. And uh, you know what? Open your hearts tonight. Open your hearts and, and let God minister. Y deje que Dios le ministre. Leave all your problems out the door. Deja tus problemas afuera de las puertas. We all have problems. Todos tenemos problemas. Whether it be financial, family. Sean financieras o familia. Whatever it may be. Lo que sea. Leave those outside. Dejamos afuera. Amen. Amen. And just leave your heart open. Amen. So we're going to go ahead and pray. And you know what? Praise God. Thank you for today. Thank you for bringing us here together today. Alabado y dale gracias por estar aquí en esta noche. Amen. Let's go ahead and pray. Sister, one of you can open us. I'm going to pray. God, I'm going to pray with God. Amen. And then verse 6 says, The 
the night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains, and sentries stood guard at the entrance. Amen. So right here, he actually had three guards. Aquí él tenía tres guardias. Amen. Two of them that were right next were well, he's in between both of them. Él estaba entre dos de ellos. And the soldier outside the door. Y el soldado fuera de la puerta. Amen. Can you imagine being between two soldiers in a prison and bound by chains? Te imaginas estar entre medio de dos guardias y atado con cadenas? I don't know about you guys, but I I imagine a prison being like a chain. Yo me imagino que la, la, la cárcel es como estar en una cueva. You know, where there's no windows, there's nothing. It's just you're in a room with doors or whatever, gates. No hay ventana, ni puertas, nada más rectas. Amen. And then it says in, chapter, in the first chapter, it says, Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared, and a light shone, uh, shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, he said. And chains off Peter's wrist. Can you read that? En versículo 7 dice: Y he aquí el ángel del Señor sobrevino, y una luz resplandeció en la cárcel. E hiriendo a Pedro en el lado, le despertó diciendo: Levántate prestamente. Y las cadenas se le cayeron de las manos. Why do you think that those chains fell off? ¿Por qué crees que se le cayeron las cadenas? Did the guards take them off? Los guardias se los quitaron. No, it was the angel, right? Era el ángel. And if we remember in verse 5, si te acuerdas en versículo 5, um, it says the church was praying earnestly. Des, dice que la iglesia estaba orando sin cesar. So I believe that that angel, y yo creo que ese ángel, was the product of the praying of the church. Era el producto de la oración de la iglesia. Amen. And that's a unity. Y esa es la unidad. And that's what we need to always be, is to be a unity, to be united with one another. Y es lo que debemos hacer, es uh, estar unidos uno al otro. I mean, this angel appears and you're kind of like, I don't know, I, I don't know, I would want to be like, well, is that really an angel or, you know, kind of a little bit of doubt maybe. Yo no sé de ti, pero si yo mirara un ángel, yo en mi mente dudar. So in verse 8, Así es que en versículo 8, it says, Then the angel said to him, Put your clothes and sandals, and Peter did so. You don't have to put it on. Wrap your cloak around you and follow me. The angel told him. In verse 9, it says, Peter followed him out of the prison, but he had no idea that what the angel was doing was really happening. He thought he was seeing a vision. Versículo 8 y 9. Amen. So right here this angel is, he's telling him, come on, get your stuff going. We need to go. Y aquí este ángel lo está curando y le está diciendo, ya vamos. How many of us, where God has sometimes has told us, you need to do this, and we're like, thinking about it. ¿Cuántas veces el Señor no te dice que hagas algo y a veces nos sentamos y lo pensamos? Here we're asking, you know, to God to bless, to help us. Estamos pidiendo a Dios que nos ayude. And God's already going to answer us. Y Dios ya está a punto de contestarnos. And we just stand here and think, uh, is this real or is this just a voice I'm hearing or a vision? Y pensamos, ¿es real o es nada más una, una visión que yo estoy teniendo? I don't know, but I've done that. How many of you have thought that? Yo no sé de ustedes, pero yo sí lo he hecho. You know, God's, I mean, he's wanting to do something, to do something, and I'm just hesitating. Él quiere hacer algo y, y yo me hago para atrás. In verse 10 it says, they passed the first and second guards and came to the iron gate leading to the city. It opened, it opened for them by itself and they went through it. When they had walked the length of one street, suddenly the angel left him. Right here it says, the angel left him. Y aquí nos dice que el ángel se fue. What do you think then? Entonces, ¿qué piensas? Now you're really thinking, okay, was this really an angel? Entonces, si te pones a pensar, ¿era realmente un ángel? Right? And you're thinking, wow, if he got me through all of this, y piensas, si él me sacó de todo esto, then maybe so. A lo mejor sí. Right? 
So verse 11, it tells us, Then Peter came to himself and said, Now I know without a doubt that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me. Amen. Versículo 11. Go ahead and read it to God. Dice, Entonces Pedro, volviendo en sí, dijo, Ahora entiendo verdaderamente que el Señor ha enviado su ángel y me ha liberado de la mano de Herodes. So here, I mean, God's just, I mean, he's putting this angel in front of Peter. Aquí Dios está poniendo un ángel en frente de Pedro. He's, he, uh, the chains fell off of him. Las cadenas se le cayeron. He was set free from those chains. Fue liberado de las cadenas. Amen. And yet Peter still was thinking, is this just a vision or is this true? Y aún así Pedro todavía pensó, ¿es real o no es real? So I think about this, you know, y lo pienso yo. and the main, one of the main things that hits me in this scripture y una de las cosas que me, uh, de este, de esta is verse 5 where it says the church is praying. Es el versículo 5 donde dice que la iglesia estaba orando. How many know that it feels good to know that a brother and sister is praying for you? ¿Cuántos saben que se siente bien sabiendo que alguien más está orando por ti? Because we can't get through this by ourselves. Porque no podemos solos. Amen. And I think right now God is, God is showing us what we need to do. Y yo pienso que Dios nos está mostrando qué es lo que tenemos que hacer. Amen. And, and this, this scripture reminds me of something that actually happened to us. Esta escritura me recuerda de algo que nos sucedió a nosotros. And I say us as in um, my husband, myself, and my daughters, we were missionaries. Y digo nosotros porque yo, mi esposa y mis hijas éramos misionarios. And we were missionaries for almost six years in Venezuela. Casi seis años en Venezuela. And um, there was a lot of things that happened. A lot of blessings. Muchas bendiciones. And God really did a good work for us there. Y Dios hizo un buen trabajo allí. But there was something that happened back in, I believe it was in 2000, between 2002 and 2003. Pero hay algo que sucedió entre 2002 y 2003. And I have, I've never told anybody this story. Well, I should say never, maybe a couple of people. Y uh, le he dicho esta historia nada más a unas cuantas personas. And because I, I was like Peter, kind of, it was like we kind of, kind of wondered if that what it really was. Y era como Pedro que yo me sentía así como él, no sabía si era real. But, but God did something for us in Venezuela. Pero Dios hizo algo por nosotros en Venezuela. In 2003, um, the people of Venezuela wanted to overtake the government. En el año 2003, la gente de Venezuela querían, sobre, uh, querían estar sobre el gobierno. Uh, they call it a golpe de estado. Un golpe de estado. And I think it's a, a coup or something. Coup or something. I'm not sure. I can't think of what it is. <laughs> is that what it is? Un grupo en contra del gobierno. Yeah. And uh, it, it got pretty scared. Y se puso medio uh, miedoso. <coughs> I don't know. I've never gone like that in the U.S. You don't even hear of that stuff. So. Yo estaba, yo vengo de los Estados Unidos, nunca sabía de esas cosas. And, uh, <coughs> so when this was happening, um, there was a lot of fear going on within the, that country. Cuando esto estaba sucediendo, había mucho temor en ese país. And, uh, on this certain day, um, it, it was getting, it was getting really bad. We couldn't go out or anything. Y en este día, cierto día, no podíamos salir en una parte. Um, we lived in, a, in an urbanization. It was all fenced in. Vivíamos en una parte que estaba cercada. And um, it was a beautiful place. We lived at the foothill of a, uh, down at the bottom of a mountain, I should say. Vivíamos en un lugar hermoso al fondo de una montaña. But it was all fenced in. There was one way in and one way out with guards. Había una manera de entrar y otra para salir con guardias. And um, so, anyways, we were there, and um, across the freeway, there was um, this neighborhood. Estábamos allí, y al otro lado de la calle estaba otra vecindad. And uh, I don't want to too much detail on that, but it was not a good neighborhood. No era una buena vecindad. And when this started happening, cuando esto empezó a suceder, the people from that neighborhood started coming down, because it was like a mountain, so they started coming down. 
esta gente empezó a bajar de la montaña. And um, they went to our organization. Fueron hacia donde estábamos nosotros. And as this started happening, uh, we lived in, you know, um, apartment buildings that were up to 20 floors. Nosotros vivíamos en un, uh, unos apartamentos hasta de 20 uh, pisos. Yes. And uh, we had um, what they call a concierge. I don't know what it is in English. Concierge? Maybe. It's one that she would take care of all the grounds, make sure everything was clean, and, you know. Janitor. 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 A little more than that, but yeah. Una persona que estaba encargada de todo lo que era la limpieza de los apartamentos. So anyway, she started um, buzzing everybody's apartment. So we had phones to let it. If anybody would come visit, they had a radio phone, then we would open the door. Empezó a llamar a todos los apartamentos porque tenían que llamar cuando entraba una una visitante. And uh, she started buzzing everybody to let us know that we, the head of every family, needed to go downstairs. Y nos empezó a llamar a todos para que bajaran los encabezados de, de cada uh, familia. And so they went down um, and uh, they were telling us that if we had guns or, you know, anything like that, that we needed to be prepared. Y nos dijo que teníamos que estar preparados y si algunos tenían pistolas. And so there was a few people that didn't have them and so we all went back up and they told us, you know what, stay away from the windows, uh, don't go to your doors, stay lay low. Y algunos sí tenían pistolas, pero a los demás nos dijeron que no nos acercábamos a las ventanas. And so that's exactly what we did that day. Y es lo que hicimos ese día. And so we were like, you know, we were scared. Teníamos miedo. And uh, so what happened when these people started coming down? Entonces cuando empezaron a bajar estas estas personas, um, they started burning tires. Empezaron a quemar llantas around our alrededor de donde vivíamos and they blocked our entrance and our exit bloquearon la, la entrada y salida so there was actually no way out for us we were in prison in there no había manera de salir estábamos básicamente prisionados so you can imagine by that time you know like Rachel what are we going to do like, we need to get out of here you know y le dije a mi esposo que vamos a hacer Estamos, necesitamos salir de aquí you know I had my daughters they were you know they were still kind of young Mis hijas estaban chicas y todas tenían miedo. And I had to kind of recollect myself and, and you know, we started to pray. Me calmé y empezamos a orar. And, uh, you know, we just got the girls and we sat down and we prayed on the floor and just kept praying and praying and asking God to speak to us. Nos sentamos con las niñas en el suelo y empezamos a orar que Dios nos hablar. So Richard says, hey, he goes, let's start packing some of our bags. Y mi esposo dijo, vamos a empezar a empacar un poco. So I started packing bags, the girls got things, you know, and, and I'm telling him, what are we packing bags for? We can't even leave. Y empezamos a empacar un poquito y le dije, pues, ¿para qué vamos a empacar si no podemos salir? And, uh, excuse me, and he says, because we're going to go out and we're going to go look for an open space somewhere. Porque vamos a salir y vamos a buscar una salida. By this time, I thought, man, you're crazy. Y yo pensé, estás loco. Because no. there was, you can hear gunfire, you can hear, I mean, it was getting crazy. They were already rationing things for us. Estaban, se oían las balaseadas y estaban ya preparándose. And, uh, you know, by the ration of what I mean is they rationed our water, they rationed our electricity. Estaban dando porciones de agua y de electricidad. And we kind of got to a point where they were rationing certain foods that we can buy. Y también estaban um, poniendo límite de, de cierta comida. And uh, it, it's, you know, you're, you're not used to that. So you're used to always having water, electricity, and food, and everything, right? Y no está impuesto a tener agua y electricidad y comida. So your mind is just going like crazy because you're trapped in there, you're, you have nowhere to go, and you're thinking, what am I going to do? Maybe because of my girls. Y qué es lo que piensas porque está uno atrapada y, y estoy pensando en mis hijas. So we did, I did what he said, and I said, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow you, trust you, and trust God. You know, so we got our bags and we got in the car. Y que bueno, voy a confiar en ti, voy a confiar en Dios y agarramos nuestro equipaje y nos al carro. You know, and all this time that we're doing this, y en todo este tiempo que estamos 
si no esto. You know, we called, um, uh, which is the pastor now, we have as Pastor Jose. Y le hablamos a el que ya es pastor ahorita en, en Caracas, Pastor uh, Jose. Uh, he took over our church and we had called him and said, you know what, we need to get the church praying for us. You know, not just for us, but for everyone, you know. Y le dijimos, uh, tienes que empezar a orar por nosotros y no tan solo a nosotros, pero a todos los que estamos aquí. And um, so we had him call our ch the church and, you know, let everybody know that, you know, to, you know, just a special prayer to get us out of there. Y uh, empezó a llamar a la, a la congregación para que oraran. And so, you know, the church started praying and praying and people were calling us and are you guys okay? Are you okay? Y la iglesia empezó a orar y nos, empezó, nos estaban hablando para ver si estábamos bien. You know, and, you know, we're saying, yeah, you know, we're good. We just we need to get out. We want to get out of here, you know. Y les decíamos, pues sí, estamos bien, pero queremos salir de aquí. And maybe you guys are thinking, well, where was your faith? Y a lo mejor usted piensa, pues, ¿dónde está tu fe? Well, my faith was there. Mi fe estaba ahí. But it was just, you know, the situation just got you. It got me and it was, it was very hard. Pero es que la situación me agarró y era muy difícil. You know, I, I truly believe. Yo sí creo. That, you know, God is, I know, not that true. I know God is always taking me out of that situation. Yo whatever it is. Yo siempre me ha sacado de situaciones malas, sea lo que sea. And there's times where sisters will tell me, you know, I'm going through this and this is happening and that, you know, not, you know, whatever. Hay hermanas que a veces me platican lo que están pasando. And there's a scripture that's right here in my heart. Y hay una escritura en mi corazón. And it will never go away. Y nunca se va a ir. Because of a sister that gave me that scripture. Porque una hermana me dio esa escritura. And if you want to write it down, it's 1 Corinthians 10, 13. Primera, primera de Corintios 10, 13. And that scripture tells us that we may go through trials and testings. Y esa escritura nos dice que a lo, a lo mejor vamos a pasar por pruebas. But he knows how much we can handle. Pero él sabe lo que tú puedes tomar. Amen. So whenever you're going through something, cuando estás pasando por algo, just remember that. Acuérdate de eso. You're going to get through it. Vas a pasarlo. Some of us may go through some things a little bit harder than the others. A, a lo mejor otras pasan por cosas más difíciles que uno. But you know what? My my situation or my trial, whatever it is, may seem the hardest above everybody. <laughs> But God will get me out of it. He has he has blessed us. Nos ha bendecido. You know, and and I can't, you know, it, it's just so much. But there's so many blessings that He's given to us that I have to be here all my time. Hay tantas bendiciones que estuviera aquí toda la noche diciendo. But because of the faith and the trust that I have put in God. Pero por la fe y la confianza que le he puesto a él. And he has shown me so much. I, I can never say God has not done anything for me. Él da yeah. tantas cosas que me ha mostrado. Yo no puedo decir que él nunca ha he hecho nada por mí. Okay, so um, going back to, you know, of us getting in the car. We got the girls in. We got our luggage in. Entonces, uh, Estuvimos, nos subimos al carro, el equipaje, toda la familia. And by that time we had let Pastor Jose know that to come by where we lived to see if there was anywhere to park close to where we lived in case we were able to get out so he, we can run into his car. Entonces le pedimos al Pastor Jose que se estacionara en un lugar donde quizás pudiéramos salir. And uh, we started driving around the organization, going through all the streets. Empezamos a... a a rodear por todas las calles para ver si, si lo encontrábamos. And um, you have to understand this organization was at least 35,000 people. Y en este lugar había uh, como 35,000 personas. And we had our own grocery store, our post office, doctors. We had everything. It was like a little city. Era como una pequeña ciudad. Teníamos doctores y, y tiendas ahí. So it was pretty big. Era grande. And um, There were places where you could actually climb, um, you know, go, uh, what do you call it? Going up the mountains or whatever. Hasta había lugares donde podía subir la montaña. And we thought, well, maybe we're going to have to do that to get out. But that's all fenced in as well. Y pensamos, a lo mejor vamos a tener que subir la montaña, pero también había ser. And I thought, oh, this girl ain't going to make it. Y yo no lo voy a hacer. Because some of these mountains are very steep, but praise God. <laughs> Um, so we started, like I said, we started driving around. 
empezamos a, a pasear por el carro. And in that organization, there's this big, there was a big, big park. Y aquí había un parque grande. And, um, and she goes, you know what, let's, let's just pull over for a little bit and we're going to pray. Y Richard, uh, mi esposo nos dijo, vamos a estacionarnos y vamos a orar. So, you know, we pulled over, we started praying, asking God to, you know, to direct us. Empezamos a orar para que Dios nos dirigiera. You know, and it was like, you know, God, you told us to come out here now. What do you want us to do? Y le, le dijimos, Señor, tú, tú nos enviaste para acá, ¿qué vamos a hacer? So, we, you know, like I said, we were parked. Estábamos estacionados. And, um, you know, that time, my, my little one, Ashley, y en ese tiempo, mi, mi hija más pequeña, la Ashley, she, you know, she started crying and crying, oh, what's going to happen, what's going to happen, you know, because we started seeing more and more, like, smoke and more gunfire. Empezó a llorar porque empezó a ver humo y, y oía los balazos. And um, so we just said, you know, we're going to just wait right here and wait and see what happens. Y dijimos, pues vamos a esperar aquí a ver qué pasa. So we drove up a little bit more. Entonces uh, seguimos un poquito adelante. And as we drove up, Richard says, look, there's a door right there. Y de repente mi esposo miró una puerta. And, um, and he says, Let's go see if that door is open. Y dice, vamos a ver si está abierta esa puerta. So Richard, that door has never been open because we would all go there and play the church soccer and play whatever. And that door has never been open. Y le dije, nunca estaba abierta esa puerta porque ahí jugábamos a pelota y todo y nunca estaba abierta. And uh, he goes, let's just go see. Okay. Y dijo él, pues vamos a ver. So we went and the door was locked. Y fuimos y estaba trancada la puerta. And like everywhere says, I told you so. Yes, But you don't listen to me, so don't listen to me. And so he, he just says, okay, he goes, so um, we had to walk, like we were at that door, and then we turned around to go back to the car. And we seen three men. And um, Richard went up to those men. Y, y mi esposo fue hacia esos hombres. And he told them, would you guys have the key to that door right Y les preguntó, ¿de acaso tienen la llave de esa puerta? And those men, they all looked at each other like, to the door. Y se miraron uno al otro y diciendo, para la puerta. And Richard says, yeah, he goes, would you guys have the key? Sí, ¿de acaso tienen la, la llave? And they kind of looked at each other and they kind of like, you know, Like they mumbled something. I couldn't understand because the Venezuelans sometimes talk really fast and I can't understand it. Y se siguieron mirando uno al otro y empezaron a murmurar. And um, they turned around and looked at us and one of them says, yeah, I do have the key. Y uno volteó y dijo, sí, yo tengo una llave. And I was, I looked and I was like, oh my God, okay. Y Dios mío. And so right away, Richard starts talking to him and he tells him, um, do you think you guys can open that door for us so we can y mi esposo le preguntó, uh, ¿podrían abrir la puerta para salir? He told him, you know, we're U.S. citizens and, you know, we, we need to get out of here. Somos ciudadanos de, de los Estados Unidos, necesitamos salir de aquí. So Richard kind of told him, you know, who we were and what have you. Y les explicó quién éramos. And, uh, and so the guy says, okay, he goes, I'll, 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 uh, I'll go ahead and open it. Y dijo el señor, sí, les voy a abrir la puerta. And then he backtracked just a little bit. Y de que me sirve un poquito para atrás. Um, we didn't have the luggage then. We just got in the car and drove around. <laughs> en ese tiempo no teníamos el equipaje. So the guy, I remember, the guy, I started to call Richard right before we came. Richard, how was that part? Y le tuve que preguntar a mi esposo cómo fue la historia. And so the guy, Richard tells the guy, give us a chance to go get our luggage and we'll be right back. Y le dijo, right up the street. Le dijo a mi esposo, danos la chance de ir por el, 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 el equipaje. Amen. And um, so we went back to the apartment, we got the luggage, we went back to those men. Fuimos al apartamento, agarramos nuestro equipaje y fuimos para atrás. And by that time, Richard had already called the pastor so that he can go and pick us up at that door. Y ya mi esposo le había hablado al pastor para que nos, nos uh, mirara ahí en donde estaba la puerta. But one of us had to stay behind. Pero uno de nosotros teníamos que quedarnos atrás. Because they had to go to the car back to the apartment. Porque tenían que llevar el carro para atrás al apartamento. So Richard says, 
I'll stay, you go with the girls, Jose is out the door. Entonces mi esposo dijo, tú y las niñas váyanse y yo me voy a quedar. So, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm going to leave you, you know, you were crying and all that stuff. Y le dije, no te quiero dejar, estaba llorando. And uh, he goes, don't worry about me, I'll find a way out of here and I'll meet you at the safe house. Y dijo, no te preocupes, yo te voy a ver allá en la casa del pastor. So, we, we start to, uh, the guy that locks the, the door, el, el hombre abre la puerta, and we're starting to walk out, y empezamos a salir, and we turn around, dimos vuelta, again, otra vez, to tell those men thank you. Para decirle a, a los hombres gracias. Now let me tell you, this part is like where I'm standing, um, the door where we're going to walk out is like right here, and the park ends over by the cemetery. Y déjeme decirles que donde estaba la puerta era casi como la distancia de aquí al cementerio. So by the time we turn around, just within seconds, y en lo que dimos vuelta en, en segundos, these men were gone. esos hombres ya no estaban ahí. And I told you, where did they go? Y le dije a mi esposo, ¿dónde fueron? They couldn't just disappear. No podían de haber desaparecido. There's no other doors around here. No hay otra puerta. And, I mean, we were like astonished because those men We talked to them. Y estábamos asombrados porque hablamos con esos hombres. But like I said, we turned around and they were gone in just within seconds. Y en una manera de segundos ya habían desaparecido. So, anyways, we just ran, I like, ran into the car because as soon as we got out the door, <coughs> corrí hacia el carro porque cuando salimos de la puerta, we seen some of the men from the neighborhood coming towards us. Miramos que esta gente ya venía. Because they didn't want nobody out of the organization. Porque no querían que nadie se saliera de ahí. And, I mean, we ran. Corrimos. We ran into the car, we packed everything in the trunk really quick. Echamos todo al, al carro. And we were like waiting for Richard. Estábamos esperando a mi esposo. And we were like, the pastor was like, this is where we need to be. They're, they're already coming down. Y el pastor nos dijo, ya nos tenemos que ir porque ya vienen a, a buscarnos. Richard, he doesn't get out, you know, what's going to happen? So we start taking off a little bit quicker because it was, it was getting a little, a little worse. Entonces nos íbamos de prisa porque estaba, se estaba poniendo peor. And so Pastor said, said, I'm going to stop just one time just to see if Pastor Richard's coming. Y dijo el pastor, voy a parar una vez para ver si ya viene tu esposo. So we turned around with the lights flashing. Y volvíamos y miramos una luz. And it was Richard in a taxi. Y era Richard en un taxi. There was a taxi guy that said, hey, you need to ride anywhere. Apareció un hombre en un taxi que le preguntó que si quería darte. There we go again. Y aquí vamos otra vez. So this is where I tell you that this story of, of Peter. Y así es que yo por eso esta historia de Pedro. I can, I can honestly say I went through the same thing. Yo te puedo decir honestamente que yo también pasé por lo mismo. Because of the angel. Por el ángel. Because I believe that these three men. Porque yo creo que estos tres hombres. Were angels that God sent. Eran ángeles que Dios mandó. Didn't have to be a, an angel like we think, you know, angel with wings and they're flying, you know. No tiene que ser un ángel como lo imaginamos con alas. But God uses certain people. Pero Dios usa ciertas personas. To bless you and to help you. Para bendecirte y ayudarte. Amen. And that's exactly what happened. Yes, exactamente lo que pasó. And so, long story shorter, <laughs> try to. Entonces, para terminar, uh, we, we ended up, we were able to flee from there, we got, we escaped from there, and we ended up at the Pastor Jose's house. Podemos escapar de ahí, y ya rechazamos en la casa del pastor. And well, the rest was, you know, what happened, happened. And so, here we are today. Y ya aquí estamos hoy. Thanking God. Dando gracias a Dios, giving him praise, dándole la alabanza, because I have this this experience within in, within my life. Porque yo tengo esa experiencia en mi vida. Maybe you've never gone through something like that. A lo mejor tú nunca has pasado por algo así. But maybe you can start to think. Pero puedes empezar a pensar. Maybe there was something you were going through, and all of a sudden somebody shows up and says, "Oh, here, here's fifty bucks." A lo mejor estabas uh, pasando por algo y alguien vino y te, te bendició con dinero. That was an angel that God put for you. Era un ángel que Dios te puso. Amen. 
God knows exactly what we need and when we need it. Dios sabe lo que necesitamos y cuando lo necesitamos. But I'll tell you one thing. Pero te digo una cosa. That prayer, que la oración, is the number one thing. Es la primera cosa. To help each and every one of us in our Christian life. De ayudarnos a cada uno de nosotros. Without a prayer life, sin la vida de oración, you can't tell me that you have a faith or trust. No puedes decir que tienes fe o confianza. Because we have to speak to God every day. Porque tenemos que hablar con Dios cada día. Amen. Amen. Whether you're at home, you're in your car, wherever you're at, you need to have a conversation and a relationship with Jesus Christ. En donde estés, tienes que tener una conversación con Dios. Amen. And you know, um, I don't know why you have to go through this. Yo no sé por qué tuve que pasar por esto. Maybe so I can share it with you all. A lo mejor para compartirlo hoy. Maybe somebody here tonight or somebody that's listening online. Uh, si alguien aquí o alguien por el internet has doubt. Tiene duda. Of what God can really do in your life. De lo que Dios puede hacer en tu vida. It doesn't matter what you go through. No importa lo que pases. God is always there. Dios siempre está ahí. Amen. Yeah. So I pray that this helped you. Yo espero que esto te haya ayudado. And I pray that. You can remember when you go through something. Y que te acuerdes cuando estás pasando por algo. Remember Peter. Acuérdate de Pedro. And remember that first Corinthians. Y primera de Corintios. Because there's nothing that we're going to go through that God, that God hasn't let go through his hands first. No hay nada que nos va a pasar que Dios no ha, no ha pasado por las manos de Dios primero. Sometimes some of the things we go through are pretty hard. Y hay cosas que pasamos muy duras. But God is there for us. Pero Dios está ahí. Amen. Amen. So I want you guys, like I said, remember that the next time you go through anything or you're feeling fear, you're feeling, you know, uncertainty or something, remember God is there for you. Acuérdate la próxima vez que estás pasando por algo, que no tengas temor que Dios está allí. And He will fulfill your need. Y así va a suplir tu necesidad. He will bless you. Te va a bendecir. And you're going to be so amazed if you really just let Him do what He needs to do. Y vas a, vas a quedar asombrado por, por, si lo dejas hacer lo que Él quiere hacer. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So that's um, pretty much all that I have to share for tonight. I pray that it helped you. Es todo lo que tengo para compartir con ustedes. Espero que te haya ayudado. And just remember, there's angels all around us. Acuérdate que sí hay ángeles a tu alrededor. And, uh, and they're there waiting for us to yes. help us. Están esperando ayudar. So... Don't think that God is not with you. No pienses que Dios no está contigo. Especially in these times right now. Especialmente en estos tiempos que estamos pasando. God is good. Dios es and, bueno. Uh, something good is gonna happen. I know it. Algo bueno va a pasar. And you just need to keep the faith. Tienes que mantener, mantente fuerte y con fe. Keep united together and in prayer. Always in prayer and reading His word. Unidas y orando y leyendo su palabra. Amen. So every word that you read, put it to work. Just don't read it and store it. No, nada más lea la palabra y lo guardes. But put it to work. Ponlo a trabajar. Amen. We're going to go ahead and close. Amen. Vamos a cerrar. And um, uh, let's go ahead and bow our heads. And uh, I'm going to. There's anybody here tonight? Maybe. Si hay alguien aquí esta noche. Um. Maybe you're not saved, or maybe you feel you need to rededicate your life. A lo mejor no estás salvo o necesitas dedicar tu vida de nuevo a Dios. You know, you can raise your hand. Puedes levantar tu mano ahí donde estás. Or you that's listening online. O usted que está ahí afuera. You know, if you'd like to receive Jesus Christ, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, say a prayer. Si quieres recibir a Cristo, voy a dirigirla en una oración. And if that's what you would like to do, accept Christ, go ahead and repeat that. Up. Repeat this after me. Si es algo que quieres hacer, repite esto. God, my Father. Padre Dios. I pray that you forgive me of my sin. Te pido que me perdones mis pecados. I pray that you become Lord and Savior of my life. Ya, te hagas el salvador de mi vida. And that from this day forward, y de este día en adelante, you be the leader in my life. Que seas el, el encabezado de mi vida. And that you would just bless y que bendigas uh, each and every life. Cada, cada vida. I ask you all this Te pido todo esto. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I don't know if there's a phone number on the screen or not. No sé si uh, aparece el número de teléfono. But I will go ahead and give it to you. Pero te lo voy a dar. If you have any questions, 
tienes preguntas, we are uh, more than welcome to call us at 760-353-7650. Amen. So uh, we're going to go ahead and pray, close in prayer. Uh, here with all the sisters right here. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. And remember um, to go ahead and meet one by one, uh, aisle by aisle, I'm sorry. And um, I'll go ahead and pray. God, my Father, we give you praise and honor, God, this night. God, we thank you for your word, Lord. Praying, God, that each word that was spoken, God, that it would be instilled into each one of our hearts, God, and that we put each word to work, God. We thank you for your love and your mercy, God. We thank you for being on the throne. We ask you, Lord God, that you bless each and every one tonight, God. In the name of Jesus, amen.